in due time. That is not far. Ready for anything, as it should be. What's that? You see that? According to plan. I need inspiration. Follow my lead. That is not far. you think we should gather all strength
stay behind me. Pick up as dust. Wretched things. This spell doesn't work like that. A calculated risk. <laughs> Grotus awaits us. In due time. This requires your attention. That is not far. You cannot stand against me, despicable. to plan. Anything else? I have been waiting for you. The flowers, birds, and wind told me you would come. Oh, my poor flowers. They will perish before long in this bog. Not many have heard a voice from above. 
and fewer still are those who followed it to a positive outcome. Search the area around the hut. Try to find anything that remained of the druid who lived here. I am sure the fog is his doing. This suffocating veil is as vicious as his nature. We should learn more about the fog and the ritual through which it was created. Return to me if you find anything. The past may hide the answers that shape the future. Do you really wish to know? Fine. I'll tell you a fairy tale. Once upon a time, there lived a young nymph. She lived in an enchanted forest where thousand birds sung day and night, where the sun often left a spark or two hanging in the tree crowns, and where the starlight fell on sleepy glades like a glowing soft haze. The young nymph loved simple things, like sitting by the stream with her friends, braiding each other's hair and adorning their braids with crystals made of dew or watching the flowers blooming. But inside her soul, the young nymph dreamed of something more. Oh, dreams. Nothing in any world can live without them. Even a seed that falls in fertile soil cannot sprout without the dream of the sun. The same was true for our nymph. She wished to turn her enchanted forest into a true fairy tale kingdom and fill it with thousands of wonders. But plans so ambitious rarely go unnoticed by greater powers. Those greater powers decided to punish the nymph for her boldness. They sent a horrible monster to poison the enchanted forest and kill the singing birds. The nymph was forced to flee. And finally she found shelter here in the stolen lands. Here she hoped to sprout the seeds of a new dream, even as she mourned the dream she'd lost. But then the magic mist appeared killing everything that lived. And the nymph cast about, desperately searching for help. So far, these are the fairy tale's final words. But I hope this is not the end, just yet. One day, perhaps, perhaps I will tell you more. But it doesn't matter now. We need to concentrate on the problems at our doorstep. The Stag Lord, the Druid, the Mist. Yes, yes. The soil, water and stones here are infused with toxic pain and fear. They poison this place as we speak. You have seen where your enemy's journey began. The one called Stag Lord was once the victim of a cruel madman and has since become one himself. You see now how monsters are born. But what comes of regret for a thing you cannot change? There is no time to be lost. We must do away with the fog quickly. will be waiting. You see that? In due time. <laughs> what a find! You come again. Did you find something? An ancient temple. The temple of the stag god. Yes, yes, that must be it. 
The place of power where the druid created the fog. Perhaps we'll be able to cleanse it from there. The temple hides in the thicket not far from here. You will need to go there and purge the place of whatever evil still lingers there, summoned by the druid's sinister ritual. Take care. You are my only hope. As it should be. Light tire. I'm hungry. Let me sit on the bar. I found something interesting. And then our leader charged forwards. Hey, hey, wait for me! They go down! Let us ride at one! Three, pent! Advance! How to use it first. Up and on, Your life ebbs low. Unworthy. This spell doesn't work like that. Assist me or lose me. Into <sighs> came at just the right time, stranger. My name is Tristian. I'm a priest of merciful Saren Ray. Another moment, and I fear I would have been on my way to her chambers, somewhat earlier than my destiny requires. A Saren Ray fanatic? Talk about people I'd be just as happy not seeing for the next thousand years. I have never spoken to nymphs. But I believe their assessment is accurate. The creatures occupying this temple are far from ordinary animals. The power that moved them here is related to the fog. The beasts hold the fog as anchors hold a ship dancing in the waves. From what I can tell, once the beasts are defeated, the fog should begin to clear. Praised be Saren Ray. Now, if my knowledge serves, the fog should weaken and eventually clear entirely. We need only wait. Perhaps somewhere more hospitable? I am a priest of Saren Ray, and a skilled healer. I have done all I can, but it will take some time for my strength to return in full. But worry not, I will make my way to the trading post nearby and wait there as I make my recovery. I was investigating this fog. I believe you have already discerned that it is magical in nature. I serve Saren Ray, goddess of sunlight. Discovering an evil magic that isolated living creatures from the sun alarmed me in no small way. I was able to locate the place the fog originated from, but was too presumptuous and almost got into the beast's teeth. Please wait. 
You saved my life. I have no treasures or relics, but I have knowledge and the divine power of a priest. I wish to aid you in your journeys. Alas, my wounds won't allow me to join you right now. I will travel to the trading post. I hope to be able to repay you for my life once I recover from these wounds. As it should be. All according to I am prepared to make my egg. Okay. They go down! Stay behind me! Repent! Despicable! Uh, uh, I have no <laughs> would be nice, don't you think? More strength, thanks.
can't help you. Your life ebbs low. I'm hungry. Let me stop. That is not far. In due time. I serve you. Erastil be praised, you finally returned, my good friend. Tristian told me how you helped him at the Temple of the Elk. Thank you for heeding my request. My heart is calm and filled with confidence that I've followed the will of my God. I would like to reward your bravery. I possess no treasure, but please take this as a token of appreciation. I trust in their truth. These visions, they were the voice of a Rostil himself, quiet but clear. Before all this happened, I believed a Rostil had turned his back to me, but now I see clearly. He has shown me divine mercy, for he has led me to you and invited me to aid in a fellow priest's deliverance. Lady Serenray and Arastil walk the paths of the gods hand in hand, and so must their servants as well. Tristian is undoubtedly still very young, and youth is a time of naivete and confusion. But I see kindness and strength of spirit in him traits indispensable to a priest. I sense that all that's transpired thus far is only the beginning, and the future promises great things for Tristian and for you. This is why Arastil led me to the Temple of the Elk. Day and night I pray for you and for my young friend. May the stag god lead you down the true path. As you wish. That's why I'm here, as you wish. What exactly would you like to know? As you wish. Of course, it would be my pleasure. Erastil is one of the eldest gods of Golarion. His faith emerged when the first people appeared upon the land. Erastil helped our ancestors cultivate the land and hunt. Even now, his blessing lies with those who uphold the old traditions and keep to simpler ways, far from civilization and the noise of the city. 
tell that to the peasant robbed of all he owns, spending his night in the gutter, hoping to live to see the sunrise. You won't see such things in a village. As you say, I am happy to help. All according to plan. That is not far. We downed better ones. Bring it! Let us strike as one! What a waste! I'll cut you! Follow my lead. Our victory is certain. Serves you right. In due time. Who will prevail? <laughs> A trivial matter. That is not far. In due time. Enemy. 
approaching. Ah! Oh. Doing it. Tear them apart. <laughs> Repent. They go down. <laughs> Let's try this way. This should do it. This is where I step in. Stay behind me. Your life ebbs low for me. A calculated risk. What a waste. This will hurt. Let us try this one. Oh, sorry, was lost in thought. I am prepared. What troubles you? Yes. All according to plan. Follow my lead. Repent. That is not far. As it should be. Enemy approaching. In due time, we will be victorious. Serves you right. What a waste. Die for me.
All according to plan. Time for fun. Mm. Go ahead. Stay the hungry. Become as dust. Fear me. I am prepared. And Lindsay was called forth. Follow my lead. My search was not in vain. I've done your request. In due time. What for Gorum? They go down. Let us fight as one. Drinking. Do not fall up.
Oh, sorry. Was lost in thought. I am prepared. Time's not waiting. Focus on the goal. Excellent. Oxy. Yes. What you? I am yours to command. Everywhere I go, the pole hangs over everything. Together we are a step before I arrive. I know what to do. Notice awaits us. Hold on, isn't it? Just letting the ink dry. I'm listening. The end draws near. Restless. Adventures calls them. Any fun to be had? <sighs> no mistakes. I'll cut you! Uh, I will let you take them Tear from them me. apart! Done with waiting. Let us strike as one! And listen. They go down! Ah! Repent! Where to now? Die for me! Requires your attention. It's just not my lucky day. You see that? please. Applause, please. Anything else? Follow my lead. In due time.
Good work. Nice to see I haven't lost my intuition for people. Not many would have managed to set out to the Stolen Lands and return with the Stag Lord's head. But I knew you could handle it. You've pulled it off even faster than I expected. Very good. We were short of time, and these months you've won for us proved very useful. Lord Mayor Selimius especially appreciated it, and asked me to give you this little token of gratitude. Congratulations are in order. Today, you'll receive the title of Baron before the High Society of Restov, and even Natala Sertova personally. God's bless her. Tomorrow, you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands if you wish, but this time as a ruler. But matters of state can wait. For now, enjoy this feast in your honor. All the city leaders are here. It's a great opportunity to make some useful connections. Speaking of connections, let me introduce you to Kasil Eldori. He's my adopted son and apprentice. He's a trustworthy man. I'd like to send him with you as an envoy. Yes, yes, you certainly have that right. But tell me, how well do you know Brevoy's history or the current political atmosphere? It won't be an easy explanation. What's now called Brevoy was originally two different countries, Rostland and Isia. Two hundred years ago, they were stuck in constant squabbles. Then, Coral the Conqueror showed up and united the two states into one. Such diplomatic tricks are easy to manage when you have dragons at your disposal. The so-called noble houses of Brevoy, mainly Sertova, Orlovsky, and Lebeda, once ruled over Isia. We, the Aldori, ruled Rostland. The royal house Rogarvia, founded by Coral the Conqueror, forced us into obedience. But 200 years isn't long enough to make peace with such a troubled history. Even 2,000 years wouldn't be enough for us to accept Issian rule. Brevoy is a country held together by a thread, and that thread grows ever weaker. We, the Aldori and the great noble houses, spent 200 years under the rule of invaders, the royal house Rogarvia. We plotted, we schemed, we stabbed each other in the back, but open confrontation was out of the question. But a few years ago, house Rogarvia disappeared. No one knows how or why, but one day their manners were just empty and the force that held Brevoy together, that kept us from a bloody feud, ceased to be. Brevoy is currently ruled by the House Sertova, the former kings of Isia, but their power pales in comparison to that of House Rogarvia when they were here. So now Sertova and Aldori stand facing each other, staring each other in the eye, waiting for the other to draw their sword. It's an untenable situation. No one wants a civil war that would drown Brevoy in blood, but peace between us is also out of the question. Rostland wants to regain its independence, and we will regain it. The power the Issians hold over us is humiliating and costly, and the Sertovas won't give us our freedom without a fight. That is, unless there is some external power that can force everyone to sit down and talk. Do you see where this is going? The Stolen Lands are disputed territory. Brevoy can't appropriate them without raising protests from each of the neighboring states. However, if some brave people were to found independent states on that land, it would be another matter entirely. My hope is that you and your future neighbors, Baron Hannes Drelev and Captain Mager Varn, will become our allies. But even your neutrality would introduce a powerful counterbalance to the aggression of the noble houses. Maybe, with your help, the inevitable division of Brevoy can occur without too much pain. We hope to get some help from the Maivani Aldori, the descendants of the Sword Lords who have fled from Coral's rage to build a new nation in the south. But the Issians know this well and are doing everything they can to deny us this help. I won't go into details, but if my intelligence is correct, 
If a civil war starts in Brevoy, Myvan will be too occupied with its own inner troubles to interfere. Restov is a free city, proud of its independence from everyone, including the Aldori Sword Lords. But when it comes to Rostland's liberation, our goals align. This whole plan is our joint creation with Lord Mayor Yosef Selimius. Actually, she could still intervene and disrupt the proceedings. But she's a Sertova. Their games are always complex and multi-layered. They're always looking for ways to turn defeat into victory. If she's decided to allow you to become a Baron, it means she already has some idea of how she can turn it to her benefit. Let's consider how she could do so. Maybe she understands that Rostland will inevitably separate and she doesn't want a war. In that case, new states in the Stolen Lands give the Issians a reason to sit down and talk without losing face. But that's an optimistic view. And truth be told, it doesn't quite match up with what we've come to expect from the Sertovas. The more likely scenario is that Natala wants to win you over to her side. If war breaks out and at least one of you stabs us in the back, Rostland will be surrounded by enemies. That might be enough to bring about our downfall. But you would fall first, and your newly formed states would be left in ruin. The Issians always like to have someone around to pull their chestnuts out of the fire for them. A piece of friendly advice? Don't do business with House Sertovas, no matter what promises they make you. Any deal with the noble houses is a deal with devils. How should I know? We're in the middle of a big game, and today, you move from being merely a piece on the board to being one of the players. I hope you have a better understanding of what's at stake. Of course, Keston gave me a full report. You dealt with the scoundrel perfectly. It would be naive to think that none of your neighbors will try to stick their hands in your affairs. <laughs> Especially that sly fox Irovetti. Enjoy your evening. When you're ready for the official part, come to me. So, how do you like our little gathering? I hope you've made some useful connections. Shall we move on to the official proceedings? Well, how do you like our little gathering? Excellent. Stand here. Lords and ladies, today we are here to honor three brave people who have done the impossible. They've tamed the Stolen Lands. Baron Hannes Drelev, the new master of Glenabon, Captain Mager Varn, the conqueror of Dunsward, and finally, the tamer of the Shrike Hills, who put an end to the atrocities of the Stag Lord's bandits. Step forward. On behalf of the people of the free city of Restov, I confer upon you this noble title. Rise, your grace. Victory! The Stag Lord's dead, and the capital of the new barony has been built in place of his fort. That was how the long and challenging Taming of the Stolen Lands began.